The main part of the slide shows dense collagenous connective tissue with H and Z staining. If you enlarge the slide, then you see the thick bundles of collagen fibers. They are wavy because of the shrinkage due to the fixation. Between the fibers, the narrow blue lines, are the fibrocytes. These fibrocytes have very thin and compact nuclei and practically no cytoplasm. For further details of collagen synthesis, see your textbooks and the lecture material. On the edge of the slide you see fat cells. These are 50 to 100 micrometer in diameter. You also see some looser connective tissue. There is a very wide transition because the extremely loose connective tissue, the denser loose connective tissue, the looser dense connective tissue, and so on. So this is a stepwise transition. There are no definite lines between these categories. Embedded into this looser connective tissue, you see also thicker bundles of dense, even denser connective tissue. These are the cross sections of the fi uh, collagen fibers. And because the fibers are in cross section, the fibrocytes will be also in cross-section. This is here a longitudinally cut arteriole where you see the endothelial cells. These are positioned longitudinally and you see the smooth muscle cells around this arteriole. On the other side of this slide you have also fat cells. The fat is dissolved uh, during the technique of the staining so these are empty rings only of the little cytoplasm and the cell membrane and the surrounding minimal connective tissue. On the outermost edge of the slide, these fat cells are compressed. So these are also fat cells, but this cage system is compressed. That's why it looks so denser.